Lines flight headed to Chicago made an emergency landing in Dayton, Ohio this morning after experiencing a cabin pressurization problem. To learn more about this free service and the CapTel 800i telephone, go to CapTelIllinois.com. It's opening day. Everybody's looking toward the weather, but Tracy got something exciting to show us a little <laughs> bit later. You're going to do which one? You're doing first. You're going to talk we'll about weather. We'll do weather. Weather, 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 weather. first. Okay. It's Here we go <laughs> with your weather. <laughs> if I can get through it. Uh, yes, indeed. So let's get through the weather portion of this program for you. A little March rewind. You know, if you know me, you know I love statistics. So I had to look back at the month of March. It's over. We're saying goodbye. Warmest temperature this March was on St. Patrick's Day, 67 degrees. The coldest temperature we dropped to 21 back on the 28th day. And for snowfall, we were really below average snowfall-wise for the month of March. Usually we average six inches of snow. We only had one. Radar, it's bringing in rain for Chicago this afternoon. Already raining out around DeKalb, Aurora, Montgomery, Sugar Grove starting to now reach the surface around Barrington. You're probably getting some sprinkles raining around Dundee and Elgin McHenry right now in Crystal Lake. 48 will be the high temperature today at O'Hare. 28 is what we dropped to this morning. By the way, this is the first day you know spring is here when we have our allergy count. Dr. Joseph Leha, a guest on our morning show, talked about the allergy count first measurement. Trees in the moderate range uh, the primary pollen right now is juniper, which he is measuring. 44 degrees right now at O'Hare. Wind is out of the south-southwest at 9 miles per hour. We should have a south-southwest wind much of the afternoon. 47 degrees at the lakefront, 45 at Midway, 44 at O'Hare. So it does not appear as though the wind will be blowing in out at Wrigley today. What is moving in is this rain. And it looks like once it starts for you, We'll probably have a window of about mm, four hours where the rain will be here today. Meanwhile, the Northeast, it is snowing heavily. Bangor, Maine, Augusta, Maine, they are seeing and reporting heavy snow there. Winter storm warnings are still in place. No watches, no warnings for us in Chicago. Once again, once the rain starts in your neighborhood, it will probably be around, for the most part, lightly for about a two to four hour period. We're not expecting a lot of rain this afternoon, but there will be some rain at the ballpark. That's just fitting, right, for our Cubs home opener. This afternoon, mid to upper 40s for highs, cloudy skies with periods of light rain. And then, as for tonight, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, not a bad day at all. Partly to mostly sunny highs in the mid 50s. And then on Sunday, we are looking at rain. It is possible that could have a bigger impact on uh, the a home game uh, for the Cubs here on Sunday against the Pirates. All right, now it's time to talk about what Jose was referring to this morning. A really exciting treat for me. Emmy Award winner Susan Lucci. Stop by our State Street studio. Oh, I want to know what's going on. Hey, where's our little show open, Tom Quinn?